In this example, we work with some low light conditions. In the original, you basically can't see anything. Um, you can't really tell it's an object. It looks like a signpost, but you can't read any of the writing on it. You can't really tell what it is. The first thing we're going to do is use our curves tool to improve the brightness of the image. And as you can see, we make a few adjustments. And now some of the noise is coming out. And we're starting to see uh, some of the details of the image start to emerge. Now since we're starting to see some details, let's select the frames that are the best quality frames. We're, th these aren't too bad. We can see a few things here. And these are a little bit better than what else is there. Now since we have the best frames to look at, we're going to stabilize the video to get the best results. So this way we can see much better details. Now we select the area of interest. Now let's average the frames so that we have the best reference point to work with. Now we can start to see a few details. We can see that it's written in Italian language. We can go through and further enhance the contrast and the brightness to improve the image. We can go through and make a few adjustments and apply some further post-processing here. Something to mention is that all these things can be done in real time on a live feed. So you're not just only working with material after the fact these these can be these filters can be applied as you're looking at the video as it's working at this point we can really see everything this was the original by making some improvements going down the chain you could see that now we can basically read everything almost as if it's daylight